Hello and welcome to the session. My name is Mansi and I'm going to help you with the following question. The question says integrate the following function that is sine inverse x the whole square. So let us see the solution to this one. We have to find i that is equal to sine integral of sine inverse x the whole square dx. First of all we put sine inverse x equal to theta. This implies that x is equal to sine theta and this implies that dx is equal to cos theta d theta. Therefore, i becomes integral theta square into cos theta d theta. Now, we integrate this by parts. So, we see that this is the first function. This will be the second function because as per the eyelet rule, Algebraic function is given preference over trigonometric function. So that will be equal to first function into integral of second function that is cos theta d theta minus integral of d by d theta of theta square that is of the first function into integral cos theta d theta into d theta. This is equal to theta square into integral of cos theta d theta is sine theta minus d by d theta of theta square is 2 theta and integral cos theta d theta is sine theta this into d theta this is equal to theta square sine theta minus 2 into integral theta sine theta d theta now here again we apply integration by parts so this will be first function, this will be the second function. We get theta square sine theta minus 2 into theta into integral of sine theta d theta is minus cos theta minus integral of d by d theta of theta that is 1 into integral of sine theta is minus cos theta d theta plus some constant c. This is equal to theta square sine theta plus 2 theta cos theta minus minus become plus. So we have a minus sign here also. So we will have minus 2 integration cos theta d theta plus c. This is equal to theta square sine theta plus 2 theta cos theta can be written as square root of 1 minus sine square theta minus 2 sine theta because integration of cos theta is sine theta. So minus 2 sine theta plus the constant c. Now converting it back to x we know that theta was equal to sine inverse x. So we have sine inverse x the whole square into sine theta that is x plus 2 into sine inverse x into square root of 1 minus x square minus 2x plus c. So this is our answer to the question. I hope that you understood the question and enjoyed the session. Have a good day.